Xiaomi just released a new feature called Moods, and it's changing the way I'm using smart lighting in my home. Just look at the coordination that's possible. It's opening up some incredible options too with voice control, app control, automations, and one of my personal favorites is this cycling through the different moods with the tap of a button. This is what I've done in just a few days of having moods available to me. So let me show you what I've learned so we can get moody together and you end up loving your home's smart lighting again. Hello automators, thanks for tuning in again. I'm Brian from Automate Your Life. My goal on the channel is to save you time and money on your journey to live smarter. If you like that idea, hit the subscribe button now. Okay, quick reality check for you. You need to have a Homey Pro Hub 2023, or you need to be a premium user of the Homey app in order to have access to these different moods. In the near future, it sounds like your older Homey Pro 2019 will get this update, but it will cost a few bucks to get it. And in just a little bit, I'm gonna share with you how you can get a Homey Pro hub for cheaper than you'd expect. If you're looking at buying Homey Pro, this might be the time. The basic setup is very simple. Enter into the app, head into the devices page, hit the plus button. You'll see the option to add a mood. Now, if you don't, you don't have the right hub or you're not updated enough. The next step is to pick the different lights you would like to have included in your mood. Now keep in mind, you should pick lights that you want to have turned off in this step. Now I'm gonna make a new forest type of theme for when it feels like we need to reconnect with nature but don't wanna step outside. Now, there are two ways to set up these schemes. I think the easiest is to pick from one of the pre-created themes. There's a ton of those below. However, one of the really neat features of this is that it will read the current state of your lights when you come in to creating the mood. So if you've got them all turned on to the colors you want when you get into this step of the process, you're just saving the state that they're in. That can be very useful if you have specific colors from other systems in your home that you wanna save in the Homey app. Now, check your brightness levels with each light. Turn off lights that you want to make sure turn off when you use this mood. And once you're happy with everything, name it and then save it. Now, you have your first mood, all right. You can tap on it in the app, and when you go to the home page, you have the ability to favorite the different moods you have in your home. As you build up additional moods, you might want to name them for the room that they're affecting or come up with a scheme that works for you, but you probably have three questions right now. Number one, can you do dynamic moods? As in, can you make your lights change color? The answer to that is no. You're choosing a single color for each light you pick in a mood. However, I'm gonna show you how I got my lights to be dynamic. Number two, can you place the mood into a specific room? What I've noticed is that the mood drops into the room that is the lowest level in your hierarchy. So for me, when I created that forest one, it joined the main level room. That's because that's the lowest level in my room that you know, all of the lights that I used fit into. Number three, can you edit and manage these in the web app? The answer today is no, but you can trigger them there. Let's move on to extending this feature, turning it into something that's amazing. Each mood can be used in your automations with Homey. Anytime one of those moods are turned on, you can start an automation. And anytime an automation is running, you can run one of those moods. I would suggest that you start using moods instead of individually setting up your lights in each automation. Every time you create a mood, it then synchronizes with Amazon and Google Voice Assistants. This means that you can run automations on those platforms that turn on your moods. Even better is you can ask your voice assistant to turn on a mood you've created. I want nature. With Homey, I've had to resynchronize my integration with Amazon or wait a little bit to have that new mood I just created show up in their app. So just 
give it a bit of time is my advice. Those are all pretty good features to start, but let me show you how I did my little trick where I used an Ikea remote to cycle through the different moods in my living room. Now here's the advanced flow automation that I created. The things you gotta know about this is that I created a variable called mood tracker and I'm just changing the value of that every time someone presses the button. And then based on the value, I'm changing to a different mood. It's actually a really simple automation except for one thing. See, I wanted to make sure every time someone turned on a mood, whether it was through a voice assistant, through the app, or that button, I wanted to keep track of it. So you'll notice these extra when statements that are making sure that we're tracking which mood has been set. That's a little aside, and you actually don't have to do that because it's just a nitpicky thing where I wanted to make sure everything was being tracked 100% of the time. If you don't do that little extra part, you will still cycle through the different moods really well. Anytime I wanna add a new mood to this, this is how easy it is. Here's my new forest mood being added in with just a few modifications of the flow. How did I do the dynamic thing since moods are not dynamic? Well, these ones that you see are moving and changing on Govee lights. And if you bring them into Homey using the Govee API, it's not perfect control and you don't get access to the scenes that do all of this movement. Also, if you bring them in using a home bridge, it can be okay, but the easiest way I found to do this was through Amazon. Let me show you visually how this happens with some of my very terrible artistic work. Now, I've installed an app on my Homey Hub with the name of Amazon's voice assistant. I'll leave a link below to this app if you don't have it today. Just connect that to your Amazon account. It's part of the regular setup process for that app. Then what I do is I add one of my Echo speakers to Homey Pro. You just add a new device, pick that Amazon app, and then you will have access to all of the routines that you create in Amazon's app inside of Homey. So what we're doing is anytime one of these moods are run, I'm running a routine on Amazon. It's basically running two automations at the same time. Now the difference is that Govi and you know many other makers have created dynamic effects that you will have access to with Amazon. So using this ability of Homies to access those routines gives it the capability of doing just about anything with your smart lights and honestly with your home. So you can see the routine here in Amazon side by side with the flow that starts that routine. It's a very simple one. Now this is gonna let you create incredible moods, incredible automations that will change your smart lighting in your smart home. And I hope that you're excited and you wanna try this. Again, you need the Homey Pro Hub or you need to be a premium user of the app to be able to do some of these things. But on that note, I have a discount code for you in the description to go get yourself Homey Pro for 10% off. I know many of you have been waiting for an opportunity to buy one, and so when Homey released this, we made sure there was a little something for you to get a little off the price. Now this is only gonna be available till May 23rd this year, so you have a little bit of time, depending on when you're watching this, but you gotta make that decision fairly quick. If you're considering that, you might feel like you need a little more info. You can see our full beginner's guide to Homey Pro on screen now. It'll teach you how their advanced flow system works, how their hub makes it easy to build those simple yet incredible automations, and how you can do amazing things and still create a reliable smart home. So go check that out, it's up on screen. Otherwise, thanks for watching today, and of course, live smart.